Hi, I'm Dale Fredericks. Today I'd like to talk to you about tying the mecate to the bosal. And I'd like to start off by saying that uh, this is the way I start off every time, every time I use this piece of equipment. When I'm, when I'm finished at night, I take the mecate off the bosal and hang it up in, in loops like this. And you want to be sure you don't hang it over a nail or something. You want to hang it over something round so it, it doesn't get kinked. Uh, these good horsehair mecates are very expensive, but it, they'll last a long time if you take good care of them. And the same thing could be said of the bosal. Uh, if you hang up a bosal by the hanger every time, after a, after a period of time, it'll start to get a, a bow to it like that. And if you want to eliminate that, you can just hang it up again on something round, either from the top or the bottom. Uh, or you can just store it flat someplace where the rats and mice won't get to it. Okay, when I when I tie the mecate to the bosal, I like to I like to do it in a clean place because I don't want to get a bunch of dirt all over this expensive hair rope. So the first thing I do, this is going to be where the horse's nose go through goes through. I'm going to put the tail end with the tassel on it through the V here in, in the same direction the horse is facing. I put it down in the V down there and I start wrapping counterclockwise. And on this bosal, this is a pretty short bosal, it's about ten and a half inches. So normally I just use about one wrap. But you can make as many as you want, you can keep going. This is what shortens the distance inside the inside the bosal. So after I take one wrap, come around to the front again. And I reach through the bosal and grab the, the working end here. And I pull it through toward me. This is going to make the reins. The length of reins is just personal preference, whatever you like. Uh, this is about where I normally would take it myself. And then I'm going to let the reins fall down to see if there's any kinks in them or twists. This one's it has a little bit of a twist, so I'm going to take this working in and turn it around until the rein gets straight. Okay, then I put my fingers to hold it, and I take this working in over top of the reins to the other side, and then I bring it down, make a half hitch. I bring it underneath this portion here to make a half hitch. I'm still holding onto the, the, the reins with my two fingers. I snug everything down. And that's what the finished tile will look like. There's a nice flat surface here. It's going to be against the horse's jaw. You got your reins here. Your lead rope comes out on the left side. That's how it looks when it's finished. Thank you. We hope this helps some of you. God bless you.